welcome back to my channel this is reyna today we're making some delicious jamaican style brown stew chicken enjoy all right so these are all the ingredients we're using today i have my maggie jamaican all-purpose season i have my homemade green seasoning there's a video for that on here. Also have brown in by Grace. Um, I also have my red label wine, my ketchup, garlic salt, and I'll be using a little black pepper as well. So first I'm starting by just cutting my chicken in pieces and trimming off all the fat. I'm using about two and a half pounds of chicken, a mixture of dark and white meat, some thighs and breasts as well. And I'm gonna also be washing my chicken with lemon juice, and I'll also be using vinegar and water as well. So after washing it, I'm just pouring off the water to get rid of all of the excessive water. I'll also be placing it on a, a paper towel at the bottom of the container to soak up some of that water. It, the chicken fries a lot better when it's not saturated with water. And of course, always I have my bleach on hand. My sink is always cleaned. I don't have to worry about salmonella. People always say, don't wash your chicken, but I wash everything it just feels too icky and gooey to me all right so i'm getting all my spices and my seasoning ready i put ginger in everything as you can see i'm just using this mortar to crush the ginger i'm also going to use it to crush my garlic as well and it also crushes that allspice pimento seeds very well And along with using my green seasoning, I'm also adding some fresh seasoning to the chicken as well. I'll be using about one tomato. I'm using a medium to large onion. You can slice it however your preference is. Some people dice it. I also have all my spices here. I'm using a scotch bonnet pepper, thyme. I'm also using sweet pepper. You can see scallion, the garlic, the ginger. I'll have everything listed in my description box. So to start, I'm seasoning my chicken with Maggie all-purpose seasoning. It's a Jamaican seasoning. I'll also be using the Lari's garlic salt. So I'm not gonna be using any separate salt since I'm using this as well. I'm also going in with a little black pepper. And that good old green seasoning. There's actually a recipe on my channel for this as well if you'd like to see what's in it. I'll be using the grace browning. This is what we use to brown our meat. Some people burn the sugar, which that's what browning is anyway. So you have the option to do that as well. All right, just go ahead and rub the seasoning into the chicken. Make sure everything is fully covered and you can put it down in your refrigerator, let it marinate for an hour, or you can just start cooking. As you can see, coconut oil is my preference. I use it about 99.9% .9 of the time while I'm cooking. It enhances the flavor of the food to the next level. This is basically what we call brown stew. So you're browning the chicken. It's already brown, but it's just gonna fry it up to cook it instead of just throwing water on it and stewing it. So we fry it first, so we call it brown stew chicken. All right, so just allow your chicken to fry on both sides for about five to seven minutes. All right, so while my chicken is doing its thing, frying up and everything, I'll be making some delicious, sweet, ripe plantains. I made some rice and peas earlier. I'll be posting that on another video. And for my fried plantains, I use vegetable oil. It tends to fry plantain better to me. You can use any oil of your choice. Coconut oil absorbs too quick with plantains to me.
All right, so I have flipped it on both sides already and my plantain is almost completed. I'm going to remove them from the pot, place it on a napkin to get some of that excessive oil off. These plantains look so delicious. I'm so tempted to start eating them before I even put my plate together. So I'm just removing the chicken from the pan. It's already fried, so it's basically halfway cooked. It's not fully cooked as yet. Um, by removing it, I'm then going to go ahead and make my sauce or gravy as some people call it. All right, so that delicious plate of fresh seasoning you saw at the beginning of the video, I'm adding it back to the same pan that I just fried the chicken. So you can add a little bit more oil. I'm also adding my ketchup. I'm adding my red label wine, a little water. Like my mom always say, red label wine tastes good in brown stew chicken. So if I don't have red label wine, I will use stone ginger wine. That goes well also. All right, and to thicken up my gravy, I am adding hardo bread. I don't throw away the ends of my bread, or well, the back of the bread, as people say, the front and the back. Just use it, It's it just gives the gravy such a nice um, flavor instead of using flour, but you can use flour or cornstarch if that's all you have. All right, and I'm also adding a little bit more of my green seasoning. Um, I've tasted it. Just make sure you taste your pot to see if it needs anything else, if it needs more seasoning but this is so good. All right, so got everything all mixed up. See how nice and thick the gravy look? It's a little thicker, it's not too runny. Nice consistency. All right, so allow this to simmer on low to medium heat for another 10 minutes and voila. Thanks again for watching. Hit that notification bell, the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.